Welcome to the Quick Train Modeler video tutorial series. In this video, we will cover the Point Finder Analysis tool, which provides a sortable tabular view of points in a 3D model. We'll show you how to define a query for point level data, sort the results, then identify specific points for viewing and editing. We'll get started by taking a look at the Point Finder window. Open the Point Finder using the icon found on the default toolbar or directly on the Analysis menu. From the Point Finder window, users can find any number of the highest or lowest points based on any listed point level attribute using all loaded and displayed data or restricted to points in the selection area or current view. Simply select the Find button once the query is set. Remember, this works both on point clouds and surface models. A few things to note when using the Point Finder window. LES files are fairly standardized, however, different files may have different attributes. Nevertheless, available attributes for the query will appear in the pull-down menu. Also, some attributes may have too many points with the same value to be particularly useful when using the point finder. Elevation models and surface models generally do not have attributes except for the z-axis. And lastly, Quick Terrain Modeler can add attributes to any model. One particularly useful Quick Terrain Modeler attribute for sorting is above ground level or AGL. The AGL analysis tool must be performed prior to using the point finder to populate the AGL column. It can be found on the analysis menu also. Once the query is run using the find button, the results are displayed in the point finder table. Users can also resort that data by clicking on any column header to further organize their search. The checkboxes, which default to checked, turns on a yellow highlight on the points in the 3D scene to help you quickly identify them. From the Show Hide menu, users can select or deselect all the points at one time. To drill down on the specifics of a point, double click in the Point Finder window on the Point Row. This will open the Point Query Utility window, highlight the point with a red star, and center and zoom the 3D scene. Selecting Previous or Next will cycle through the list in the corresponding directions. Note, the Point Query Utility produces the red star, not the Point Finder. If you want to compare adjacent point information that is not in the point finder list, simply hold the shift button and left click on a point. Actions such as checking, unchecking, deleting, recoloring, or reclassifying a point, or placing a marker at the point can be accomplished from the point finder window. To perform these actions on one or multiple points, select the point in the point finder list and right click. To select multiple points, use the control shift plus a click. This will highlight the point or points in blue in the table from which the right click actions are available. Note, to undo the last action, select Undo from the Actions menu in the Point Finder window. Some example use cases of how the Point Finder can be helpful are finding the highest points in the z-axis to discover point outliers that may be noise during the quality assurance and quality control processes. Users may want to delete these points. Finding the lowest points in a Z will be equally useful for this. Another use case may be finding the highest points in AGL to find the tallest trees or vegetation. Additionally, it may be useful to then sort on Z to find the tallest trees in the highest elevations. Remember, you'll need to perform an AGL analysis prior to performing the AGL point finder query. In the last use case, users may want to find the highest points in Z on a bare earth surface model to identify possible locations for observation positions. The Point Finder is a powerful tool with many uses. We hope this information helped for your future projects using Quick Terrain Modeler. Thank you for watching and please feel free to contact Applied Imagery or check out our website if you have any questions or need additional information.